Hello, hello, you guys. We are back and we are finally about to open the second bag that came in the 31 pound box of mystery jewelry from Goodwill. So here is the second bag and we are going to get started on this one this evening. Now the last bag took us um, five to six pretty good videos to uh, go through and and uh, be able to show y'all what all was in there. So I expect this one to probably be the same. I try and go through it as quickly as I can. Um, but I want to be sure that we go through it together and don't miss anything. So let me just get a little bit of stuff out of here and we will get right to it. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Sometimes people say they can't hear me. I feel like I'm talking really loud, but... So in the last bag, we did get some gold, uh, which we tested together. We also got quite a bit of silver, and I think we got something like 70 pair of earrings, and some of those um, earrings were also silver. I did not test them live like I did the jewelry because there were so many. Um, but I think we got three pairs of sterling silver earrings. All right. Oops. Let's get started with this right here. Okay. This is just a little uh, fashion jewelry necklace. It doesn't have any markings. Let me zoom in for you guys so you can see a little better. You can see what I'm looking at. Let me just adjust you here. There we go. So, oops, there's an earring. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this bag that I did with the last bag and just toss the earrings to the side and unless they pop up together like this pair just did, We'll go ahead and match them. Otherwise, I'm just gonna to toss them to the side and we'll match them all up later. So that's just a little fashion jewelry necklace. Wow, that's cool. It's just um, like acrylic, but it's a really cool big chunky ring. Of course, you know, my fingers have to be too fat for it, but um, that's pretty cool. I like it. Here is a bracelet. Those, I do not believe those are real pearls, but that is tiger eye. It has a spring loading clasp, and I do not believe that to be gold. There's that. Here is a, kind of feels like glass, but I think it's just a, I think it's just acrylic. Um, I wonder if that's handmade. That's pretty cool, a little pendant. No markings. Cool. Okay. Here's another one. This one's glass. It's like a, a handmade art type pendant. Pretty cool. Okay. Here is a ring. Um, HLM, I believe, it says. It, uh, somebody has a sizer in it. I 
I don't believe that's sterling. It's just a fashion piece. Pretty cool. Lots of earrings again. Okay, this is a seed bead necklace. The uh, little pendants or pieces are acrylic. It's all plastic, uh, except for the seed beads. No markings. What have we got going on here? Again with the tangles. Gotta love the tangles. Let's see here. So this is part one of the second bag. There was two bags in that 31 pound box that I got from Goodwill auction style. Um, okay, so this is Claw clasp, no markings, no maker. Cute. Back to this piece with the flowers on it. It's kind of a gunmetal uh, color. And let's see here. What does it say? I don't know if I've seen that before. Huh. Does anybody know what that maker is? I don't. Maybe you can let me know in the comments below. So there is that piece. Okay. This is Ann, what does that say? This is Ann Taylor. I don't know if you can see that, Ann Taylor. There's like a ribbon with chain and some uh, rhinestone pieces. It kind of looks like tortoise shell. And those are just uh, acrylic. Where's that? No maker, I forget what you call this. It seems like sometimes it's magnetic to itself. Um, but there's a necklace. <clears throat> there's another one. And another one. That one's pretty. I like that. And it's got little pieces of agate and faux pearls. More earrings. Earrings, earrings, earrings. Here's another one of those um, pendants. That's cool. This is a lot of seed beads. Uh, just slips over the head, probably homemade. This piece does not have a maker. Uh, I think it's just plastic. It's supposed to mimic bone, maybe. That's pretty.
Aaron. Okay, is this one broken? Nope, not broken. These are all, um, these are all plastic and there's no maker. A little cat's eye, maybe agate, and then glass little seed beads. No maker's mark, just a little choker necklace. Well, they put a clasp on here, but um, these are actually for your glasses. These go over your edge of your glasses. I know because I actually use these otherwise I never keep my glasses on and then I don't have them when I need them so that's cool okay let's see here this is the loft I don't know if y'all can see that the loft and is gold tone chain with faux stones. This came off of something pretty. It'll be a nice piece to put in the um, crafting jar. I'm going to be um, selling crafting jars because I I just don't even have the time. I would love to do crafts, but I just have too many other things going on. So we'll put that in with the crafting stuff. Okay, this one does not have a maker on it. These are all plastic beads, but it's just a little choker style and it's cute. Great fall colors. Would have been a good one for Thanksgiving. Okay, here is three stretch bracelets. Um, I don't know if that price tag is on one or all three. It's kind of twisted up in there. These are, I believe, um, stained howlite. It's got a charm here with nothing on it. Then we've got this little one here. I think it might be missing a stone right there. And this one says love. So there's three, three bracelets, stretch bracelets. I believe those are how light. Okay, then we've got another little bracelet here. No markings. It's got a couple of butterflies on it, and I think these are glass beads. That's cute. Here is, let's see. Ugh, got how dirty this stuff is. I don't need any board. This definitely needs to be cleaned. It is a barrel clasp. Looks like it's got some age. Knotted in between each uh, faux pearl. These are glass, but nicely made. Well done. They're kind of a um, rosy gold color. This one is the loft. And I believe these are just plastic and maybe wood.
Here is a glass pendant. It just needs a, a um, loop in it to be able to wear it. Um, but it is glass. That's pretty. Earrings. Here is, looks like copper. I think it is just a fashion ring. No markings. Here is an earring. Let's see, what is this? This is a collar. Wow. Wow. Look at that. That is crazy. This um, is giving me um, Ruth Ginsburg <laughs> vibes right here. Um, it's got a huge beaded button clasp on it. Wow. Okay. Huh. All right. That thing is huge. Another broken earring piece. Okay, here is. These are also faux pearls. I wish they were real. It's a little choker. That is cute. I like that. This one is not marked. More faux pearls. They are glass. I'm pretty. So afraid I'm going to try and pull something that's so tangled it's not ready to come out of there. Um, I'm actually going out of town tomorrow, and so I'll probably wrap this video up pretty quickly. I have a lot of things to do to get ready. This is just a stretch bracelet. I did not see a maker on it. That's nice. It's not missing any stones. not know what's going on here at all. Let's see. Um, I do not know what's going on here. This, I don't know. Okay, I'm guessing this is just a homemade piece. Maybe these can be tied down or twisted in there. These are all glass beads. Um, some of the beads are really pretty. I will probably just put this in the crafting jar. Lots of nice beads. Let's see what we got here. This is a bracelet on a ribbon. I'm a little confused. It's got a claw clasp here. I do not see a maker. This may be home, home done, I'm not sure. There's a butterfly, a star, a heart, a lock, and a little girl or a little doll. It's a little doll. Um, cute. This 
this could be bad. This could take a while. take a while. I'm going to set this to the side and I will work on that. It looks like there's four, probably four necklaces here, three or four, but I will work on that later. Let's try and work through some of this other stuff if we can. That is a big chunky necklace. It does not have a maker and it is all uh, plastic or acrylic. I'm not really sure what's going on here. That is some kind of stone or glass. Um, kind of looks like maybe it was supposed to be a crab. I'm not sure. Um, probably an artisan piece. Here's some, I believe, rose quartz with uh, like lava rock in the center. It's a stretch bracelet. I don't know why I cannot think of what that stone that is called right now. It's almost like a metal. With the stones. Okay. What is going on here? This is a necklace. And it is does it have a mark. No, nope, no maker on it. Claw clasp. Uh, very chunky. Mm, maybe hand done. I'm not really sure, but very chunky right there. I would get to this soon. Let's see here. What is going on? Earrings. Okay, this is lead and nickel compliant fashion jewelry. Okay, so this is uh, it's got a clasp on it, but you can also make it longer or shorter. I, I do believe these are adjustable. And then it is, I can't tell if that's wood or resin, but it's pretty cool. It's purple. I don't know if the light is doing it any justice. Can you see the purple? It's pretty. And here's another one of those. Um, I don't think it's glass. It's more like an acrylic pendant. There's a lot of these in here. I think somebody made them. <coughs> Excuse me. Here is a little uh, stone bracelet with the hand. Is that the seeing hand? I don't remember what that's called. that so stretch um, what is going on here I think I've caught on a 
earring. Not sure. Okay, this is a tassel, tassel earring, a very long one. <laughs> Maybe the other one will be in there. Here is a stretch bracelet with, I think that might be halite, I'm not sure. No markings. Okay guys, I'm gonna just kinda look at these, uh, what is this? This one, I think this is one piece, and then we'll wrap this one up. This is J. Crew. got the pearls and a chain with pearls and then just a chain so it's like three tiers here can y'all see that and that one is j crew all right y'all so we have busted into the second bag of the 31 pound goodwill mystery box of jewelry and um I'll go ahead and wrap this video up and I will see you on part two of the second bag. Thanks guys.